Morning, Alison. You all right? time just turning around to the way is the right way yes if you were here at uh, three o'clock this morning I was down the gallery waiting for you I think for some reason when the camera when all the system went off on Wednesday night when I had a problem it altered timings on things so this actual lesson was set up for I think about quarter past three this morning and it was only the last half hour I realized that so that's why I had to send you out a quick uh, email to readjust it so apologies to anybody who's not in but i've posted on facebook the link as well so if you're on facebook or if you're on youtube you want to watch on facebook you can follow the link which it's on youtube there now i mean alison's found it i don't know if anybody else has but i think it's just i'm getting old you know getting old right so what we're going to do is we're going to do the boards I've still got bits on the, uh, wait a second, I've got to turn the right way because the microphone cord is only just over a metre long and I can wrap myself up in it. So I've still got all this to do, the beach and that, but I thought I'd give you the, some detail on the boards. So these are the boards that they sent me, but I'm still going to put in the colours I fancy on them. Um, so what I'm going to do is paint these in, the water sort of round it and the beach round it see where we get from there and then move over onto the sea and the sands afterwards if we don't uh, if we have time if not i'll finish it all off on tuesday i think that's it i think it'll only take today and probably part of tuesday to finish this whole canvas and then we'll do something 
a bit more abstract canvas, a, 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 like a palette knife type stuff, things like that. So at the moment I can only see only see you, Alison. So <laughs> I'll just carry on in the hope that other people gradually find me. So I'll switch to a close-up camera. So these are the two boats that sort of blocked in. I blocked these in the other day, the last week. So I'm going to just start painting them in with a little bit more, starting to fetch the detail out a bit on them. And then I'll come down into the water's edge, tidy the water up, the sea up, tidy the beach up, and get these dogs in at some point. So I shall continue. I presume people will gradually get in and find me. So I've, I've mixed me um, mixed the colours that I sort of want. <coughs> Excuse me. I mixed the colours that I sort of want and uh, sprayed a little bit of water in the middle to make like the, the soup type stuff that I normally use. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a cough. So I've got the burnt sienna, the yellow orchid, the uh, uh, sorry, the uh, cerulean blue, cadmium yellow, some black there, and, it, and white. I always put a couple of whites down because. I want one for mixing and I want one that's just going to be clean white. So that's that sort of the colouring I'm using. <coughs> Excuse me, got some of the stuff. So I'm going to block in slightly into these areas to get this board in a bit more and then start tidying them up. So I'm just going, I'll tell you what, I'll put the paints on. There you are, no, it's right over the white, I'll put it over that side. There you are, you can sort of see the paints a little bit there. So I'm going to get them in first, I'm just going to get a little bit of, I'm using a, a reasonably sized brush. I'm just going to get the yellow orca, a little bit of white into it. And I'm just going to start putting in this boat shape. Now it wants to go up a little bit more to the front, so it wants to be across there like that. So I'm just putting it in very lightly with this bigger brush. And then it sort of comes back to here. So I've got edges to put in, but I just feel I didn't have the point enough there. Because I just blocked it in loosely and then I curved down like that. I curved down and into the board and, and the seats there. So I'm just blocking that in a little bit so I can get an idea of where I want to be down there. I'm going to darken it down a little bit. At the bottom, all oh, right. Lynn's just landed. She's sneaking. Lynn is in the gallery. Lynn is in the business. Right, I'm mixing a bit of burnt sienna in with the yellow orca because I just want a sort of a, a sense of shadow just on that sort of side edge there a little bit. Are you making that to fit the mount, Lynn? I'm going to have a look at it, yeah. All right. So just pulling this sort of shadowy edge down, just getting an edge to it and darkening a little bit just underneath where the seat's going to be. So the seat's going to be there, so I'm just going to darken it under there a little bit. Down the edge. All gets tidied up and then just round this corner as it's coming round the corner like that. Just put a bit of shit on probably a bit more yellow orca into there just a bit too a bit too solid that so block that in what I'm going to do now is block the sides in get it underneath and then in a second I think that just needs to go a bit straighter just there I've got the picture of the boards just up above me but I only want to I want to make it a bit more loose. I don't want it to be photographically imaged right like that. So what I want to do now is block in the shadowy area underneath. So I'm going to add a bit of blue to the yellow orca. <laughs> oh, Alison. Alison's saying hi, Lynn. Hi, Alison. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of I mixed a little bit of the uh, cerulean with the yellow orca and I'm going to get a sort of a shadowy side to the, the edge of the board so it sort of comes out like that and then back down so that's sort of the back of the board if you, if you know what I mean so that comes down like that and goes along through there 
down to the bottom. There's a little bit of blue along the bottom edge. So just put that edge in like that. Into there. And then just a sort of a sense of reflection, just a few drags. You're gonna you're gonna add you're gonna make it darker here and lighter on the top a little bit, but you just want to get that impression of a little bit of reflection in the bottom of that. Right, get some white and lighten this this edge up as you're going forwards. Just lighten it up a little bit so it's just catching the light coming around there. I mean it's in shadow but you want, you want a sense of light from out there so it's not just one colour. So I just need to get a bit more white onto the brush there. I'll go, I'll go down to a smaller brush afterwards and just pull that back like that. And you're just blending it. Hiya, Billy, all right? You sat comfortably ready to learn. <laughs> Did you find me all right? Because I, I made a mess of everything. Right, so I'm just blocking in little bits and we'll, we'll like this and gradually as that dries and then I'll come back and and break it up into lines etc and a sense of light just here and there I've got to get it sat on sat in the water it's all it's only sat a little bit in the water it's not not really down because the water is shallow here it's just sort of edged in a bit like that right I need to take the board a bit farther out so I'm just going to take this out a bit farther because I want that to curve, I want that white to curve in. So I'm taking this board edge out a bit farther so it comes out there. Like that. And then I'll curve that white in. So that white will come down from there and curve into that edge there. And the best way to do this is you don't want it dead, you don't want it dead pretty. I, 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 I prefer this to be just broken up in colour as though the, as though the paintwork is, is sort of peeling a little bit here and there. I'll go, I'll go, I'll drag some white into it but I don't want it to be bright white, bright this, bright that. Little sense of reflection of the white into there. And when we come to paint all the water in we'll paint the ripples of water in. some downward strokes like that just over it so you it's a soft feel to it not uh, not a rock hard feel to it not an exact feeling to it just use my finger and I'll clean my finger on my shirt right I've got that blocked in where I want there's no point in me blocking this totally in till I paint that because otherwise I'm going to be resting on the top of this. Um, so I'll, I'll start putting detail into this one. It, so, it soon dries, it soon dry this, but if I paint that in, obviously I'm going to be leaning my hand on. So I'm going to go to a smaller brush and start putting shapes into here. So I've just got the, the only cheap, the only cheap watercolour brushes, I, I never use decent uh, watercolour brushes for this and I don't buy expensive um, oil painting brushes. I find these, these cheap brushes work just for dragging a bit of paint in. So we've got round the side a sort of a blue edge. So I'm mixing a bit of blue in. I'm just toning it down with a little bit of yellow ochre so it's not dead bright. And I'm going to paint an edge across here, just across the top. I'll put a bit of light onto the top of this. So this is coming on, this is sort of the in, inner part of the board coming out here. Tidy it all up as we go along. And then you want the prow down there. And then this comes out round here. 
and you see it coming round here like this but you don't that's the inside of it so it vanishes just about here and then you get the darker part of the bow the darker part of that rim comes along here you'll see it build up as as I get so this is the outside edge with the darker blue and a little bit of yellow ochre in so it's not dead bright and this wants to go from here out just outside here like a, the thickness of it just vanishing around the corner and coming back and blending into there just make it a bit stronger the, I can keep just touching in and as it dries I can make it stronger so I'm just going to keep swapping from bit to bit until each section dries and then I'm able to actually uh, paint exactly over it so the boat shape of the boat is like that this is the the rear of the boat curving in like that and then you've got the rear curving in like that and then you've got a, like a just a, a bit of blue at the bottom like I said but just there and then a reflection of it build these ripples up right so I've got that I want to go across the I'll just make that a little bit broader it's the inner it's the inner part of the top ledge if you know of the board so this is the inner part of the top ledge rim going round and it goes round to meet up there and that bit, I'll darken, that's the inner side, but it vanishes, and that's the outer side. Right, a little bit of, a little bit of yellow orca and just a touch of white. So I've got some white. I'm just, I'm just greying the white down a little bit with a little bit of the yellow orca and the blue, so it's not dead bright. And I'm going to put a top to this edge here. Once a bit more white in. So very light across the top, like that. So what you're painting there now is the top far edge. I'm fetching that back. To here. And that comes back and joins the white just there like that and then you get the same same coloring and come on the top of this like leading edge so you just want to be pulling out from that that bow, pr prow there outwards and back outwards and back leaving that darker edge going round and creating the lighter edge on the top of the board just there so you just creating a little light edge just up here like that so you've got the and we'll put some highlights of white on so now I want to get the, the sort of the, the bits of structure of the board so a bit of yellow orca a bit of yellow orca and just a, I'll tell you what add a fraction of yellow to it so it's lighter all around, a bit of white in there, so it's, it's, you've, got a, you've got a lightness to it. And put in the rest of this bit at the front. Down like that. There's a bucket in the picture, but I'm not bothering putting a bucket in. And then you've got the seat, you've got two seats really, so you've got a seat going along here. And make the seat, I just want to keep it a bit lighter. Make the seat go sort of le level with that, parallel with the, the back of that. It wouldn't go at an angle, it would go, whatever that line is, this seat would go the same angle. So you've got a seat in there, and we'll put patches onto it to make it look broken. Once you've established the whole shape of it. And then leave a gap, and there's another seat just going out of sight, just there.
and that's coming along there like that and then from the seat you've got the supports which go just from underneath and down like that and then just a little sense of structure into the boat just a few flicks like that just a sort of sense of the structure inside a few little bits in there oh, sorry we've got a darken darker bits down but we're getting we're getting there so i want to get this to be various colors down here sort, sort of warm paintwork so i'm going to i'm going to mix in some yellow orchid in with the blue even a bit of yellow in so sort of a off green feel to it and just put some patches in here and there so we're just creating warm paintwork rather i'm going to zoom in a little bit for you i think A second. Wait a second. Right, there you have found it. Love the forest painting in the window. Oh, that's a, that's yeah. When you you sat at you sat at Sam's having coffee and watching the window. Right, I'll just zoom in a bit for you. Um, yeah, it's a it's a print that one. I did the the painting was done with a palette knife a while back. That I think that's just been put in the window. It's a big one. Right, so we've got the, the things. Now we want to establish some darks in there, but not not black darks. Get some blue. Sorry, get some burnt sienna. A little hint of blue into it, so it's just grayed off a bit. We don't want bright bright colour, you want a bit of blue into the burnt sienna, just to grey it off. And what you're going to do is paint dark just underneath that seat. Underneath the seat, like that. Underneath the, the little ledges that's going round. Underneath the blue, so you darken that edge off. So it feels like there's a strong shadow under that blue edge you're creating a shadow under there I, I, I don't like using black I prefer to sort of mix the colors I mean there's times when you need black I like black for making the uh, trees etc a bit more burnt sienna a little bit of yellow orchid it's like I say like a, a soup like a soup that's it How's the thing going off? No, oh, it's up in the top. It's not very, it's not very big, is it? That picture. Right. So come down that edge there. Create that edge. Darken this area off as though it's coming round a little bit like that. Darken some of the structure off in a few little touches. Make this darker underneath, like a slight curve, as though there's a shadow off the seat curving down like that. So you've got that shadow off the seat. A little bit dark down that edge there, like that. And then the same. But you, you wouldn't see you won't see the line under that seat because it's it's right up against the white but you just need to sort of create some edges here and there I want a dark bit down that left hand side like that so we've got that in what i want to do now clean my hands what i want to do now is create some broken feel of paintwork on that top so rather than it being dead neat i'm just getting a little bit of white bluey white but more white and I'm just going to create a little sense of flaking paintwork on the top ledge here and then just drop it down into the board a fraction just coming over the over the top and in a lot lighter just there get a bit more white onto that 
lot lighter just coming the top of the board there round there round the top of that edge I'm just touching with a little bits of white here and there just to not painting a long line just breaking that the, the, the whole idea of the paintwork up into broken bits a lighter patch on the board just a bit of yellow ochre into the white not much and just create a lighter patch in a second a bit more See, it's wet, so you, it's, it's sort of blending. A little lighter patch here and there on the board, just on the seat. Just to lift it a little bit under there. That's too much. I'll touch in with the blue into that. Fetch that back and put some bits of broken white along the top and just drag it down into the blue a little bit. And break it up. See, a little highlight here and there, but... Basically, you're just toning it down. I'm just touching that blue because that's just a bit blob of white too much there. Right, a little bit of burnt sienna in with your yellow orchid and create, and don't make it too strong, create a sense of a little bit of shadow just kicking onto the seat a little bit just drag a little bit of colouring out into the seat here and there thin that out drag a little bit of broken colour into there down that side a fraction right want a little bit of yellow orca for the thickness of the seat so it's just a little bit of wet yellow orca because you painted a, a thin edge just go above that dark edge and just create the thickness of the seat with a little touch of yellow orca so it's just above the, the dark that you put in and just making the seat look a bit broader at the edges Dragging bits all over it, so you, you just break it up. Nothing it becomes too, too, too much, too pretty. So what we're going to do now is get the back in and then do the struts along there. So I'm going to put stronger white into here now, but not not totally bright white. Just got a bit of tissue and clean, uh, clean me brush. Dilly. When allowed, keep me informed about art classes in your studio. I'm looking to learn more. Right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, Billy. If you call over the gallery, I'll let you know. I don't do, I'm not doing classes in here anymore, but I'm doing them online. Right, so this wants to be a clean and white. It should, it's not quite dry, but it's not far off. So rather than try and paint a lot of white in with a, a little brush, just get a broader, a broader brush and pick up some clean white so I've got that like that broader brush and just pull it down I'll curve it in Do the same just along the front edge a little bit, just sort of down that leading edge. Lighten that up and fetch it back. Pull a little bit of the white reflection down here. And a little bit just from there. Onto that and then blend this in just get go back to your bluey mix with your yellow orca and just blend that in so there's a gradual turning across there to that like that into there right 
Now you can get the smaller brush and just define the sides, the edges of this. So just down here, there's a little bit of a, a bit at the back. So just pull it down, pull it down. I mean, ideally you can wait for areas to dry so you, then, you, then you're just painting straight over it without it pushing colour in, which is what it's doing at the moment. But I can't sort of sit around and wait for it to dry while I'm trying to do a lesson. So just down there. And you can suggest a few bits of the, the woodwork going across so, so you don't have a bit too much white, just dragging in a little flick across the edges there as though you're separating the, the wood panels. Don't go right along and make it too, uh, too much, just little areas into there, touch that white up the top a bit. Right. I'm now going to go in with the white and just create a couple of highlights. In fact, what you want is a couple of little suggestions of, of ropes sort of hanging over. So just there, just a little bit of rope just hanging over. And we'll take that rope afterwards. I'll just suggest where it's going to be, but we'll take that and put that in there after. And then you've got just odd flicks of broken white across the top. And you've got a rope just coming around that front. You have a rope there, just going over the edge, and it would come out over here as well, somewhere down here. I'm just putting it in loose because I'm going to paint more into that. Just an idea of where it is. Right, flicks of white on the top, top edge. Then that light in round there a bit better. As you're painting the white in, because this is wet, you can just sort of drag it and it'll blend in with the, the colour round here and you just leave a fraction of a line in between. Can you see? Just leave a little sense of a, an edge just in between. Like that. I think we need this light. It's meant to be a whiteboard, so we need this just a bit lighter. Otherwise, it's too strong into there. So, the same principle paint in and leave little darker areas in between. You want to get broader as you get to the back. So, you want to be broader at the back and dipping down more so you dip down more into there like that and then we darken the bottom of the boat off altogether and then put some lines in I'm just going to get a, a smaller brush still to suggest to suggest the ropes etc so I'll just spray some more water on because the paints are just Acrylics dry out quite quickly. I'm just spraying water all over the uh, the control panel. So I wonder it didn't blow up. Right. So I want some darker colouring. I forget what I was going to do. Now. Oh, the raw. A little bit of burnt sienna and blue, so it's not too uh, it's not too strong. Just a little line under the rope there. 
round the side, flick it to go off the edge. And I think that might be all. I'm going to, if, if, if I paint over it, I'll paint it back in. And then just from the edge there, just drag that roll out across there. And the second one, which is coming over there. And you put them in after. A little touch of black, not, not much, just a little touch of black. And just a stronger line just under there. Slightly stronger. Jennifer, morning calling in at our shop after dinner to collect. All right, you're calling in. Depends what time you call. I'll, I'll be here till two ish, I think. To whatever time Joan picks me up. If you come earlier, I'll put you on camera. Right, so we've got that in there. So you're defining the edge of the board and just little flicks just to create the illusion of bits of broken woodwork and now we'll come down into here so along the bottom of that that's meant to be i'll just make it a bit more bluer that's meant to be the side you've got the white top this here is meant to be like the side edge coming off there like the side rail so that wants to be blue not white and just taking that along like that And just dabbing paint in so that it's, it looks as though it's getting worn. Now what it wants to do is be level here, but as it goes around the corner, it wants to get narrower. So it's going around the corner, it wants to narrow off. <laughs> narrow off, right. So you've taken it around this leading edge here. So just... Just getting narrow around there and then add a little bit of a little bit of black into it so that it's just a little bit stronger and you put these lines in so you want a line going across there and these lines get sort of they drop and then they go back up so they want to they want to go around the board yeah so this line here wants to be coming from thin up there and broadening out to meet that one just there, like that. And then the next one's the same, thin up there, broadening out to meet that one. Thin up there, I'll have to throw a bit of white in there, I'll get rid of it after. Because I, I want to, I'll still want to make this look a bit of a mess it's easy to do actually to make it look a bit of a mess and then i'm going to darken the underneath so the underneath of the board is sat there like that and your boards aren't curved these these bits curve out but the bottom of your board isn't curved so you get the you get the dark in there and you take this line across and it wants to be straight Turn that up there a little bit like that, so just. But the bottom of it wants to be straight and just a slight darkness coming out from underneath like that. And then the same dark wants to go along the bottom over here, so it wants to be a dark edge just there. Flat, not curved. Make just a little bit stronger. And then you can just get a little bit of the blue burnt sienna, just a little bit of the blue burnt sienna create, and just sort of blend this down into the water's edge. I don't like that. There's a little patch of white. I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll get rid of it after. And just darken down the underneath of there a fraction. 
and suggest a little bit of reflection of that. Right, just a little touch of burnt sienna in there. I just need to darken it down just under that, under that seat a little bit stronger. It wants to be casting a shadow under the inside of the board. So just that little bit stronger for that seat. Pale blue, a little bit. I just want to get rid of that blob of white there. That's better. Right, what I want to do now is put a sense of reflections in there, as though the water is sort of rippling in a little bit. So I'm just getting various colourings. And just creating some ripples. Don't like that dark there. <laughs> Break the camera, eh? All right. I don't answer it because I'm facing the wrong way. I'll have, I just look every now and then just to see if there's anybody, anybody there. Don't make them too obvious. Just little touches of sort of reflections. It's it's part shadow, part reflections, really, in here. I might go back and make it a bit more brighter in places afterwards. I think that's okay. Tidy it up. I'm, I'm probably, I'm going to have to let it dry a bit, but when it's dry, in fact, I can probably do it now, it's not that bad. A little bit of blue and burnt sienna grey, and you just want to go under them lines there and just create a little sense of shadow and the shadow is narrow there but as it comes down underneath this panel sticking out it gets broader because the panel the board is not flat it's coming out in a like a belly so the shadow will get stronger there round to the edge so the same under there narrow and then just getting stronger under that dark that. just want to tone that down. Right, I'm going to add a sense of broken colour into this. A little bit of, of actually using yellow and white. A bit of yellow and white and just create blobs of broken colour here and there. So just bits of yellow and white and just trying to create the idea of paint flaking off here and there. So you're just going over the, the, the bits you've done but you're just creating that broken finish. And you can put that in as a sense of reflection in parts as well. I might just do the same over here, I might just put some blobs of, not dead strong, some blobs of other colour just in here and there, just to suggest. Really, I'm having connection problems, but still stinking, <laughs> sticking in, yes. I know what you mean. It's that spell checker. Right, so... I think that's all right, I've just broken that up. When it's dry, I'll sharpen anything up that I need, really. So I'm going to go on to this one now. I'm just going to raise the, ca the canvas up a bit so that I can, uh, I'm not bending down or crouching so much. I've got me, got me raising tool here. Better. 
This camera's that close, you can, can you see the curve? It's because it's got a, like a very wide angle lens on, so you can see a curve on the thing. But the main picture's there, so all right. Right, so, I'm going to put this in and paint in bits. I, I like it like that, but we want to paint over it and create ridges, etc. But leave it as a broken finish. We've got, we've got boys, like, floats hanging over. But leave it as a broken finish. I think that might work quite well. The only bit we need to sort of lighten up on the thing is the top to get a clean line. So I'm just getting a bit of white and a bit of yellow orca and even a bit of yellow. And I'm just going to create the top edge of this board here. And this is the far side, just sort of curving down like that. And it curves round and vanishes like that up to there. I'm just building it up and then we'll then we'll highlight parts so you've got the, the front end the same as that bit there but obviously on the outside of the front end here and that wants to come down sort of into here and eventually just curve out of sight round there so you've got all this sort of back end so just a little bit of shadowy area just underneath that bit patched there so just going round like that and then the white across the top edge so the white across this top edge here from the same so you've got the white there that that edge coming up to there you've got the same edge just coming there and that wants to go along there I'm just using the white and just moving moving the paint around it's basically establishing the shape of it and then building it up so it curves round like that and goes off the edge just there Obviously, this is a bit broader the nearer it is. Lighten that edge up. So that's sort of catching the light just there and branching out. And that's the underneath of that white bit. Right, I'm going to just block in some... Uh, of the sort of the boys that's hanging. I need to get a bit more colour from somewhere. Um, well, one is just yellowy orchery. So just here, there's a, a, a float just hanging over the boat, just there like that. And there's a purpley one just hanging down here. I'm just blocking them in so I know where they are and then I'll uh, fill them in and then there's an orangey one just hanging off the back there. Right. Right, so a little bit of blue. Just get this edge down here. Blend it in. So I don't want a white line at the front. I'm just blending this blue into it. So far down. And then we'll paint another colour just underneath. Like that. It's, it's got a greeny colour, this. So I'm going to mix a bit of the cerulean blue with some yellow. But more on the blue side. So it's sort of a greeny colour but blue and I'm just going to paint these edges down here so they come from like here strong edge there and it wants to sort of come down and curl out of sight which you will do after like that so that comes under there then there's a broader one coming from there and it goes past goes past that actually making a racket down there 
It goes past that one and out. Because it's, it's like I said, it's bellying, bellying out. And then another one. They thin, but they get broader as they go out. So it starts from thin and broadens out as it curves around the edge of the board. So it broadens out here and comes out just that little bit farther each time. The way I do it is to paint them in and then I sort of break them up. In. I don't want them to be too, too much. So you, you put the lines in so you know where you're at and then eventually, eventually you, you sort of blend them in a little bit. So round the corner coming down, broaden it out round there so it feels like it's just going round the edge another one just there and all the time it's coming back in like that that edge just wants to just come out a bit And then go back. Now along the bottom, it's I'm going to paint it in darker, so it's a different a different set of colour just here. But I've got them in. So what I want to do now, I'm going to let them dry a bit. Then I'm going to put a sense of sh shadow under part of it, and, and a bit light, leave it lighter on this edge, but shade this side down a fraction, so that it it feels as though you've got a a, a bit of bit of light there, like reflected light off the water and more shaded just into here. But obviously not fully because this is going to be the shadow area over here. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to get some black in with that blue colour and I'm going to paint the lines under here. So I've got black in with the blue. You know, when you're talking, you, it's hard to keep a straight line when you're talking. Right, so this comes down here, strong dark. This is sort of under the, the ledge of the top of the board. Strong dark, like that. Just put it in dark at the moment. It's not full black, this. It's got a bit of blue, etc. in it. Take it along and take it, it wants to get thinner. This, the top wants to be thinned out a bit as you're coming along. And as it's actually going round the outside edge there, it wants to come out a bit farther, it's like a lip going round. As it's getting out there, the dark wants to be a little bit lower, just there, but you want a little bit of shade just in between. That wants to, because you can't, you, you look, I'm going to shade that down, you're looking at the front of this, but as you get back, you're looking more underneath it, so that it's coming out from the board like that there, like that there, it wants to be a bit, a bit farther out. And then a bit of yellow orca underneath it. So it looks like you're just looking underneath that ridge just there. Thin ledge thin edge just in there which is the sort of the same as this here so you've got that that line there so you've got this same line here just coming along here goes along there. That white's a bit light there, so I'll have to I'll have to let that white dry a bit before I can uh, 
before I can paint into that line. Right, so now you need a shadow under that edge so it's not so strong. So a little bit of blue and burnt sienna. And instead of being a black hard line, paint a shadow down underneath it. And paint it a little bit lighter still, add a little bit more light. It doesn't want to be too black. Just, that's better. Just go up into that dark line that you've just done and paint this shadow underneath it, pushing it back into the black line. down there like that and then just blend that back along here the shadow will get farther out will come deeper and less so so as it's coming along that dark edge under there just sort of bl blend it out and bleed it down so you just you're creating a shadow underneath but nothing too uh, too serious break it up like that Make it a little bit darker, just towards the back edge there. So that's the back of the board, just there. Not that lip there, just there's the back. That's sort of a, a ledge sticking out. Darken it down. Like that, that's all right. Right, got a black name sign just about there. Do you know, I could put, instead of calling this board whatever it is, I could call it one of the names of one of the dogs. The other dogs might be jealous though. Right, you also want, using the blue, black and the burned sea and a model, you want a sense of shadow that's going to come off these buoys. So just sort of put a, a curve underneath and create a little bit of shadow. underneath, same with that one, underneath and then just getting a little bit of yellow and blue so it's just greened off a bit, just sort of soften that shadow out so it, it doesn't stay, it doesn't stay too, too heavy. going to darken a little bit more under this ledge it just wants to be a bit broader just there because like I said you're seeing the underneath of that ledge coming from nothing you're seeing the underneath of it just down there right now get a bigger brush just put that in there get a slightly Broader brush, I've got ones here, like this. And we're just going to drag, so if this isn't so bright, we're going to drag some colour. It's just a flat, a cheap flat. I'm just going to drag a little bit of colour into that. So I'm going to mix a little bit of cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow and blue, cerulean. I don't want it to be bright so I'm adding a little bit more blue into it and I'm adding a touch of yellow ochre into it so that it's not bright green. Just going to get a bit of water onto it so it just floats more than... I don't want it to be too, too, too obstropolous. I'm talking it's just because I'm thinking right don't want that to be as bright as it is so pulling the color down let's just test it that's all right so pull the color down from that edge there at the front 
Nose tidy, the, you know, nose tidy the, the front edges up, just pulling this colour down and sort of glazing it over. Like I said, I want to go for a, a, a broken feel to the paintwork, so I don't want it to be too neat. Turning around the corner like that. I want to lighten it up as it's coming around. I don't want it bright light, so I'm going to just get some bit of yellow orchid and white and add it to the same mix. So I'm just adding a little bit of white and yellow orchid to the mix. I've got to do that, that greeny yellow down. It's just shining out too much. So pulling that colour along like that and blending it back into there. Just coming from underneath your darks and just pulling it down. And leaving some of the original colour showing through, which is all what you want. You don't want it to be... You don't want to be just one colour. Right, and now a little bit more white into the mix again and take this yellow out. You still want a sense of light coming around. Just dry brush off a bit, got thick paint on. What you don't want is it to be bright white, but you want a sense of light coming around to the front. Bit more white in there, I think. I want to just so just creating light. As you get farther down, you'd want it to be a little bit brighter but we we'll put the brightness on the top of the, the ledges these ledges that's coming around like the, the structure of the board and all i'm doing is dry brushing some broken color into here so that it doesn't become i'm going to lift it up into there because that wants to be a bit darker just up there because that's that is the underneath of the top ledge. So I just want that darker because you're looking up slightly into it. So just dry brushing bits of colour in. I'll go back in and harden lines and lighten lines in place. Just getting that sense of a sense of colour. So I'm just going back to the, it's, it's a combination of yellow orc, yellow orc and yellow and blue that I'm using. So it's not dead bright. Um, I want to leave some of this light, but I want to just sort of drag in a little sense of shadow here and there. That's just too strong. Just using thick blobs of paint here and then tidying the edges up. I don't like that black side, there's a black nameplate on there. I don't like it, so I'm just going to lose it. So it's sort of a, there's hardly any paint on the brush now. I'm sort of just dry brushing in, just to try and create broken paint work in over the blues, in over lights. I'm going to put a darker line along the bottom. And that there, that wants to be C. I'll just see if I can suggest a bit, a bit of C there. Like I say, when I come to do the, the water properly, when I come to do the water, I'll tidy everything up. Bit of light. 
night. The back of the board, I've just put in some water fluid. The back of the boards are curved in underneath and then the, the bottom of the board is showing. So you don't want that la laid in the water because this is meant to be laid on the on the sort of virtually water and sand. So you get a little bit of yellow ochre and water and, and white, sorry, and you can create a bit more white. You can create the underneath back side of the underneath of this board and it wants to come along like that curve like that and that be sand etc so just get started just get it started I add a little I'm going to add a little bit of yellow into the white because I want to just get a little bit more sense of light into that Just as those little flicks of, of light showing into there and take some of it out through here. And then I'm obviously, obviously going to paint reflections. Now I'm going to put the dark underneath here, uh, but I'm going to paint in these boys first with a bit more colour. So I need some colours. So just give me a minute, I'll find some colours in the area here. I want some reds. I've got a tray down here full of other, a nice, nice bright cadmium red. So I'm going to make one of the boys a nice orangey red. So I'll just squeeze a bit out. Don't need a lot. And I'll, I'll tell you what I'll make the other one. I think I mentioned last week that uh, a friend of ours, Kim, had fetched me some of this, uh, this Stuart Semple brilliant top-notch bluey purple in so I might make one of the other boys that colour so I'll just squeeze a little bit of that out it's very powerful colour you only give me a little bit because it's quite expensive but you can yeah, so I've just squeezed a bit of that out so I'm going to blot in these not blot in block in block in these uh, colours so I'll get some bright red. I'm going to make it orangey but I'm going to just paint it red underneath like that. Sort of next to the edge red like that underneath and sticking out just past the edge of the board a little bit. stuff down here is terrible. Get some cadmium yellow so that you can turn it more orangey pinky and blend that in. And then some white. And just use the white across the top just to lighten it up and shade it in. And so just Touch in and blend it here and there. And then we'll tidy the edges up afterwards. And then this one, we'll use that uh, blue, that strong blue from Stuart Semple. See how strong it is. And we'll make that. Can I zoom in a bit more for you? Yeah, I can. You can't copy pictures. 
I have problems with composition, Billy. And I can copy off any type of pictures, so I start off at the top. I run off the canvas, but I'm learning things right or wrong from YouTube. Yeah, I think I think the problem what you've got to do, Billy, is you can you you've got to obviously if you want to paint Amber Castle or a boat or something, you're gonna to have to work off off a photograph because you can't do it completely from memory. So but the thing to do is not to try and paint it in literally try and try and put a, a little bit of looseness or stamp onto it so you, you're not uh, you're not painting a photograph and turning out a photograph which is the problem you see so i put that in there that purpley color in like that i'm just going to lighten it across the top of it by just adding a little i'm going to add some cerulean blue into that with a bit of white so it's not bright white but it's not the same color and just blend that in can you see just blending that in so it's just getting paler a bit more just getting lighter into the center areas and leaving it getting dark around the, the outside edge a bit more still lighten on that up uh, and we'll make this one sort of a, a, a mucky a mucky yellow it's been in the water for years add a little bit of yellow into it What you've got to do is when when you get it in is to soften into the shadows so that you don't have a hard harsh line round it. I'm gonna put a bit of burnt sienna in the bottom part of that so it's just turning into shadow a little bit round the edges. And then just dry your brush off a little bit. Still leave paint on it, just dry your brush off a little bit and blend these shadows in just touching into the shadow and into the boy i call it a boy i don't know if it's a boy or not just blend it in so that there's not a hard line same with that just blend it in just dry brush a little bit and blend the colors together you can also put a harder accent in things in there afterwards. A bit of white across the top of that. Just so it's catching the light a little bit. Flick some odd little bits of light down into it. Get a bit of red and white make a pinky colour. And just lighten the tops of that a little bit. Oops, not enough white. Just a little flick in. And I think we need to lighten that blue up a little bit more. So I'm just going to get this, you, the blue that Kim gave me and add a bit of white to it. So it's just that little bit, because it's quite a strong colour that. That's it, and just put that in, dry the brush off and blend that in, sort of a dry brush effect. Now the tops of these have a little bit of blue on the top. So it's like a, a blue cap just across the top like that. Same with that one. It's like a blue cap. 
there's, there's nothing on there that just sort of comes to the, the, the point that it need to just darken behind it because I've, I've made it bigger so I'm just going to get a bit of me darker colour just going in closer to the that and losing that big thick white area there and I wanted to just touch that into there a bit splash of blue this, this stronger blue just under here So it just stands out a bit. Right, put that away. We want the want the sort of the ropes over the top. So a little bit of wet burn sienna, yellow orchid, and just fetch these ropes. Probably a thinner brush. Fetch these ropes over the top, they're hanging over, so they've got one coming over the edge like that. Onto it, and then there's a curved, curled one just coming over the edge, curling down slightly, and curling back up. Just put them in the dark, and then you can lighten them up in places afterwards. And then you've got a, a one coming over here, down to there. You've got a, a knot of ropes just here for some reason curling over probably probably just bits attached to it and then there's two coming from that one goes down there for some reason probably a rope going off there maybe and then there's a couple attached to this boy like that now you're going to lighten them up you've got to create just a, a, a little sense of shadow onto the onto there so you just go underneath and just create a little sense of not too strong it's a bit too strong just a little sense of shading coming over that edge like that not much and then you need to lighten up parts of it so a little bit of yellow ochre and white yellow ochre and white and just lighten up little touches onto this rope, a bit more white actually, excuse me, just over the top, a little dab down into the, the bits that's curving down. Little touches where they're coming to meet the, the boy. And little flicks just over the top edges. And just darken in between that rope because I made it a bit thick. Sorry, now I need to I need to paint in just get out a little touch of black, nothing too heavy. I haven't seen nothing too heavy, just not too thick, just a little touch of black and just go on the bottom edge of that boy there and just shape it and pull the colour away a bit. A little sense of shadow just underneath. And the same for here. Don't put it round that side, just put it round here. a little touch to suggest it you don't want it too strong a little touch just to suggest it because you've already just blended them in so you don't want it too much you just need to create a little sense of shadow i think that boy needs to be bigger into there right what we've got to do now, I've got all the struts to put in these areas, uh, but I want to paint along the bottom and establish 
the bottom part of the board. So I'm just going to get draw the brush again, dry it off, and just put the dark in along the bottom. And I'm going to use the black. I'm going to use the black, but I'm, I'm not going to make it solid black. I'm going to use the black, and I'm going to paint the line, and then I'm going to blend in with some whites, etc., just to give it a lighter line. Now this wants to go along here and off to the back, so it, and it comes right round here. It's, it's just it's painted. It's not the because you'll still see the you still see the structure going through. It's just where they painted it. So from there, and it doesn't curve down. It goes right up to along there. So it's it's a paint mark, not a not a a structure of the board. It's painted. So that goes right along there. I'll come back with a smaller brush to tidy the edge up. And it also goes across there like that. So it goes actually across, not following downwards, it goes across. And then you can fill that in and then tidy the edges up. So you can fill that in, just block it up. Again, I'm not worried about being too... Uh, too pretty with it. I want it to be darker in part. Now, as that comes around there like that, this structure is coming in and curving in. So that's coming into here and curving into this edge here like that. And that line, which is that, continues on down. And round. So that is the front of the board there, like that. And it goes back on a slight curve towards this back end. Now, it goes across here like this, and you will see light and dark as we as we put it in. And that is curving. I'm just going to wet it a bit because it's getting a bit. Uh, I'll not spray towards me, not spray towards me control panel again. Right, so just block this in. And it wants to be a gentle curve from there, back there like that, so like that. And now you see the structure of the board. So that, that line there, would go back, look me up on Facebook and you'll see where I go wrong, all right. Jen, can't wait to see this painting in real life. And said the colours are wonderful. <laughs> yeah, have a look, when you come you can pop up, Jen, have a look at it. It's still another day or so to go on this, maybe a couple. So that that's the underneath of the board, the, the sort of the structure, and that would go straight, it wouldn't curve. But it goes straight like that, and then the rest of the board bellies out, rounded, like that. So you do get a sense of a curve in underneath it. And I'll just put it in bulk, and then I'll, I'll show you and tidy the edges up. So it comes down there like that, round the back like that. Remember, leave light. It's, it's sat out of the water, but leave light between and fetch that forward like that. Just use a smaller brush just to, uh, just to tidy that back edge up a bit. Right, so that's how it's sat in the, in the edge. But what you've got is, you've got a, a flat piece that comes out along the bottom, which is part of this. And that catches the light a bit over there. So just lighten that up a fraction. So it's curving underneath here, but you've got, a, you've got this light bit here that the board is actually sat on. And that comes to there, that light bit like that. Just put it in 
So if you put it in, in sort of blocking it in, and then you'll see, so that light bit, so the curve of the board, the curve of the board is coming round here and bending up. So if I'll, I'll block it in with just a, a big brush to give you an idea. So this would be, this would be that, that bit coming down. Sorry, it's a bit too bright, that. This would be the light edge of that coming down. Like that curving back. Down there. And then, the same as you've got these edges here, you would have the same here. So that, where it's getting lighter, that will come round here. And just get that little bit lighter each time. So instead of being blacker round there, it's going to curve round. And I'll, I'm just putting it in big brush and then we'll tie the edges up. So you get a sense of lightness around the bottom of that leading edge there, like that. And you get the same sense of lightness coming down here. So from there, you've got this line and that would curve that would curve right down and underneath and back up the other side like that so you can lighten that area up all these all this framework comes down underneath and I'm doing it exaggerated but that's what it's doing it's going down out and underneath and rising back up a little bit there So you can just sort of see it, the edges. We will tidy everything up. It's, this is just really just showing it in the shape of the board going down. So it would curve down there. And when you put this structure in, it has to line up with them lines. So a little sense of light into that. So it's not black. Just blend it in a little bit. And like I say, you put a little bit more light on the far side. What you want is a sense of just a little bit of reflected light off the water's edge, just in underneath. And that's getting that's getting the uh, the solidness of it. What I want to do is put some beach in here. I'm, I'm going to go back into this after and paint the date, but everything is sort of still wet, so I'll paint to sharpen that up. But we'll put some beach in and, and a sense of the water, and then I would reckon another, another one, one sort of day after this would probably finish it off. We've got the three dogs to put in, but we're getting this big. So, what we want to do now. Is, I'm just going to clean this brush a little bit. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll get the bigger brush. I don't want this, I don't want this to be too, so I want a bigger brush because I don't want it to be too bitty at this stage. Right, we want a sense of shadow and reflection of this area here. So we'll go for shadow. There'll be shadow underneath here, even though the sun's coming from that side, there'll be shadow underneath because this board sort of tilted out and creating a bit of shadow. So it's combinations of yellow orcas, even a little touch of yellow in so that you can reflect some of the light. And it's just going to go along here and just create the ripples in the sand. I'm sort of using a, the, the flat edge of the brush and, and moving it diagonally to create a sense of ripples in, in the beach there. I'm going to darken down underneath there, a bit more burnt sea and a bit, use a bit of blue in with it so that it's not too brown because you want a sense of water as well. So just in there, just a little bit. A little bit of shade, join it up to the board. Make that shade go underneath the board just there, so it blends in, just sort of blend it in. 
You only want, want to leave is to make sure you leave a gap in there. So you're just blending this in bit by bit. A bit more yellow ochre now and just soften that. Little sense of ripple and then you need obviously a bit darker reflection. A bit of blue and burnt sienna just down this side here. So you need, you need it to be just a bit darker here and there. Put it in then just pull some downward thing. Push it into the board. So you, 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 you're softening the shadow into the board. You're not painting it in too specific. You will sharpen up odd edges but you're just painting it a bit specific. A bit of yellow ochre and create a bit of Bit of shadow just from the back of the board there. Don't go right up to there. Sense of darkness in here, but then as you're coming out, a bit of yellow and yellow ochre. Even a little bit of light in. That's it. So you're just creating. little bits of beach and when it's dry we add ripples into this of blues and stuff so you, you want a feeling that the water's sort of partly the sand is partly wet partly wet and partly water well it's partly wet and partly sand showing through so sort of put it in tease it out need a little bit of sense of reflection of this but not a lot um, I'm just going to get some blue and white. I'll just create some water into this. I haven't gone, I'm just <laughs> mixing pink. And then obviously around here, I'm just, I'm just going to clean my brush because I've got bits of everything gone. Remember, there's quite a bit of more to go into this board detail, the, the sort of the structure of it and into the reflection and create the sense of water around it. Just drying up the excess paint off there. Getting some blue and white, just blue and white. And just creating, that's it, just creating a sense of light of water just in here and there. I'm just trying to paint around the board so that we before it's no use me putting detail in and then trying to paint around it afterwards so I'm just trying to create a little bit of feeling of water lapping around this board here it's quite a strong blue. i'm using that blue with the white it's quite strong actually it might it might be all right but it might be too strong for some of the water you just And if you sort of dry brush, that, that's sort of meant to be seaweed. I'll, I'll, I might put it in, I might not. But if you sort of dry brush over some of this with just a little bit of the blue and the white in, 
I'm just going to get a bit more cerulean blue into there as opposed to that other blue. That's it. And if you sort of pull it down and dry brush it in with some downward strokes. You're just overlapping some of the colour and just creating that little feeling that there's water above the reflection. If you know what I mean, like there's a, a movement on the water. So you've got the reflection, but there's just that sort of sense of movement over it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of odd patch of yellow just to reflect some of this into there. So I'm just going to try and reflect little patches of the this colouring into it in places and the boiling. So you, you, you don't want a bright red or anything, but you just want a sense of uh, I'll get some on me in a minute, just a sense. I'll put it in and then I'll taper it out. A little bit of light yellow orchid, just to reflect that one a little bit. And a little bit of the stronger blue, just to reflect that one. Into there. And then just a soft blending of it. dark just in here I'm I, I will paint the lines in more defined I'm just trying to create a sense of shadow of like dark area where the boat sat in the water down there now you can do a little bit of dark just coming off this just a little touch use the edge of the brush and just do a few little gaps in between the in between the lights that you've done just a little sense of it like that coming down there and then clean your brush and a little sense of the bluey light it's, it's, it's going to be more it's not going to be as bright as that but you can you can just sort of create a little little few darker reflections here and there Just little touches with the brush. And what you can do as well, you can get, just, I would use a big brush. If you use a small brush, it'll get too big. But you can use a big brush and you can create a feeling of little bits of broken sand in amongst the water. So a bit of yellow orchid. The yellow orchid, a little bit of white, and you can just sort of You can just sort of little little touches like that, just to just to create a little bit of a little bit of sparkle and light catching the edges here. And I'm just using the tip of the brush flat. It's picking up in some places, but it's not in others. And then a bit more white into here. And I will create more sort of sense of sea, ripples, etc. Just loads of that, don't like that. In there. Now, I'm going to drag over that with a dry brush with a little bit of yellow and cerulean blue.
and a little bit of white into it so that it's not bright. Take the, take the excess paint off the brush by just dragging it and just, I've took the excess off and just drag over it like that. Do the same down at the grey, even though you're in, in down at this dark, so you're sort of pulling it together. What you don't want this is to be too black, so that's why I'm sort of pushing colour into it, just dry brushing colour into it, so you know that it's meant to be your painted line, but you don't want it. You don't want it to be too solid. I think that's looking all right. I've got to allow that to dry now and uh, and then I'll go back in and sharpen detail up etc. Um, I'll move the camera along and have a look at blocking, I was going to say blocking the dogs in but I need to do more onto the, the rocks and the water first. But I can put the dogs in I think, just get them in so I'm just going to move there, that's sort of where the dogs are going to be, them three light blotches there. So I'm just going to have a go at them. Got the pictures of the dogs somewhere. Got more pictures off them than anything. Right, I'm forgetting what she said, I'll have to check on it. I'll just block them in, but she did want one of the dogs having a ball in his mouth. So these are the dogs, that one. And them two. I think that's the same dog. You know, I've got to be, oh, there's the three dogs together so I can have a look. I've just painted my camera lens. I once did a, a portrait of a family. They sent me that many photographs and there was a family growing up. I think there was 10 people in it. And I painted them. I sorted the photographs and painted them. When they got the painting, I painted, they sent me that many photographs. I painted one child in twice. He was about three year old on one photograph and he was about eight or nine on the other. And I'd missed somebody out, I couldn't remember which one it was. And he sent me that many photographs at that many different ages. Right, so, I'll block these dogs in properly and then the next lesson, which will be next Tuesday, will detail this and get, get it all on the finishing mark. But I think the boat's looking fine, it just needs to be detailed a bit. So dogs, I better just get the right pictures of them. The last thing I want is to have two of the same dogs. There's a picture there of the three dogs. And I think I blocked them in last week. So I'm going to just paint them in a bit, uh, a bit neater. I'll just put that, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to be tape and tape the picture to the canvas a bit so that I can see them. It's no use painting these in massive, heavy detail either because uh, I'll just put that up there because it would just go against it and painting too big I intend actually to put some people in the distance walking back so I'm going to lock these dogs in with white the tops of them so I've got this one here so that's sort of got coming along like that. Round the back of its body and down and then its leg out along there. Curve the body round. Down for its back leg. little tail its head just there and muzzle a 
そして
There's the shadow under the body where the other leg is coming out to the top of the head. And so that's just establishing the sort of the shape. And use the same colouring to establish. I'll tell you what. I've got a big brush here. I'll get a smaller brush for after. There's an ear just there. And an ear just there. And then there's a collar coming around it. I'm just putting it in just so I can see where I want to be. And then there's a broadish patch just there. Just sort of coming forward to that leg. And then a broad patch just on the tail and just round the back side there. The and it's it's obviously got all sorts of colouring, it's greys, greys, etc. I'm a little terrier. I'll just squeeze a little bit of yellow orca out. I don't want to squeeze a load out because I won't be using it. I'll be finishing soon. Just squeeze a little bit of yellow orca out. You block what you do is with portraits, you block them in and then you paint let them dry and then you paint into the detail. Then you paint in. So this terrier has an ear just here. Top one. And then it comes round its body, round here. Like that. Just get a bit more white into that. I'll even put a little bit of yellow into the white so it's just lightening it up at the top. A bit more yellow off, it's just losing it there. And then it's just a bit light around its back end there, into that ear. A bit of light into there. Right, so I've got that, I'm just going to lock in, lose them shadows just there, so I'm just going to Lose them strong shadows. Actually, it wasn't shadows, was it? It was where we suggested there might be seaweed just there. And just into here. There's a, quite a bit more shadow will come off this one because they, they're kicking up the, the sand, they're kicking up the beach, something rotten. Blocking them in. So I think in that bag there, just take them photographs out the road so that I can see the picture. Right, I'm going to leave it. What time is it? 21 minutes past. There's not much else I want to be doing with this at the moment. I want to put some rocks in. Um, yeah. I'll just go back a second over to the boats. That's it. And I'll just sharpen these this board up a little bit. You need a really fine brush for this type of stuff. So I just want to get some cleaner edges on, on these boards, so a bit of dry that off, it's bring this water a bit. Five minutes, just do another five minutes or so. Right. Use a little bit of the black, but very watery and a very fine brush. I've even got some burnt sienna in so it's not too black and very watery. That's dry, I can lean on that. So we need to just get some edges. So you've got the light of the panels and the, the bluey is the shadow. Can I zoom in for you a bit more? 
No, I cannot. That's as far in as I go. So you need to go under the light, just above the shadow, and make it darker. So it feels like an edge. Little broke just an odd bit bit sharper just under that rope into that corner. around there and then just darken that just in the edge and remember you, you've got the, the belly of the framework sort of bellying out but the boat sits on the water straight so just a little sense of a shadowy reflection just there just sticking out And then this one, you would actually be this. One second, get the framework for it. I'm not carrying on with this. I'm just going to give you an idea. So, give you an idea of where it's going to be. Just stick that in there. So, get it wet so that it, it doesn't. You just want to flow the lines in. So, get your. I'm using the black, but I'm getting it wet. And these lines that we put in before. I'm just going to emphasise underneath them. And it doesn't go right round there, it curves down there. That's that that there is the the shadow underneath of that rim sticking out. So that curves just under there. We've got another another one darker coming just from here. And that curves out past that like that. And out. You're coming from nothing. It's, it, it gets broader as it goes out. So you're coming from sort of nothing to broader because you're starting to see underneath it. So it's coming round the like this, broadening and out, broadening and out, and going back. So it's coming down and away from you and broadening out. I don't like that curve, I'm just going to tie that edge up a fraction. Thin, and then it goes into the dark like that and curves right back on itself so you can make these dark lines so from that thin comes in the dark and goes back on itself like that and does the same there down back on itself underneath and the same with that bit there so you can see the structure of the board just there now <coughs> I'll, I'll stop now because <laughs> guys come. But what you'll do, oops, sorry, I've got a sword stuck in. <coughs> These lines here have to be the same here. They've got to meet up virtually and come down here. So they'll be coming down into the board like this. And the same principle as that, they'll get stronger and blacker. So I'll just do one. That will come from the same sort of point as that there. Obviously, you've got to tidy the edges up. But that will come from the same point there. And go down over 
lock it. It gets deeper, deeper shadow, and comes underneath and up to there. And along the bottom, that line needs to be added in. So this is the, the, the bottom of the board, the, the edge, like that, which comes forward to meet this. And I'm going to leave it there because I can't stop coughing at the moment. And we've done a couple of hours, so I'll just make sure. I'll give this one a try, but I've not any luck painting seascapes. There's a few seascapes over here if you want to leave your coffee behind at Sam's and come over. So all this has got to be painted in detail, but I think we we probably can get this done, the whole thing done in the next session uh, and have it finished. And then I'm going to do a biggish abstract for you. And I'm going to have to put seagulls up in the top of you because I've got black paint. You want seagulls in anyway, so I'll be putting some seagulls in. Let you have a look at it from a distance there. That will focus that in a bit better for you. So that's the camera I'm using for the close-ups here, uh, and it gives you a better colour on the, on it than what that does. So this is going to be all detailed, all the water is going to be put in, the beach and the dogs. So I think we can do, I've got to tidy up these edges here, but I think we're fine. I think, uh, Jen, thank you, yeah. I think we'll leave it at that, I'm here. So I've got 45 brushes here to clean and that. So I'll be here on Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning and we should finish this off. I mean the water's not a lot to do. I've got a couple of seagulls, black seagulls up there. Uh, and that's it. So we'll see how it's going. So I'll talk to you later. Be down soon, Jennifer's gonna be down soon. Right. I'll keep the cameras rolling, Jennifer. I'll keep them rolling. Right folks, so it's coming on, it's getting there, it's the lady in question who's ordered it's just been ringing asking if it's anywhere near so i'll finish it on tuesday yeah definitely right i'm going i'll see you i'll see you later on bye folks i can't figure out how to get off this there we go see you later